All right, guys, here we go. This might be my last tournament of the season. Um, we got bow hunting, which opens up here in a couple weeks. And today I'm gonna be fishing the BFL Super Tournament out of La Crosse, Wisconsin. Um, so like I said, it might be the last one for me of the year. Um, might get into a smaller one before the end of the year here, but um, either way, we gotta get out there and try to make this one count. I had a, a pretty good practice. Um, I would say really good, but unfortunately, I think I might have wasted some of my bigger fish in practice. I caught one that was five and a half pounds. I caught another one that was just under five. Um, the one, the first day of practice, I had probably close to 20 pounds and I, I shook a lot of them off. So, um, I don't know. We're gonna see what happens today. Some of these spots, some of these areas, I know they've been getting fished a little bit. I just hope no one's found what I've found. And uh, I also hope that we can just get some of those bites that we got the other day. Um, a lot of times it doesn't work like that. You know, you go and it just comes down to making three or four of the right casts. And if we don't do it today, then it could be a completely different story. But we're gonna go out there and give it a shot. Um, I'm gonna be staying on pool late today for the first time in BFL history for me. So that's gonna be interesting, but um, I think we got plenty of stuff stuff to fish and we got to get down to our starting area and get a couple big bites right away in the morning and that's going to carry us through the day but um, I'm going to get everything packed up and hit the road. Um, Takeoff is at 7 this morning so it's a little bit later than than normal. It's kind of nice to get to sleep in almost a little bit but going to get headed up to La Crosse and we'll see you when we get out on the water. Wish me luck guys.
big, but it should be. Yeah, Thank you. Gonna be close. Gonna be close. Good thing is he's not just a short fat one. It's got a little bit of length to it. <clears throat> restart my camera but <laughs> got another one should keep yep perfect oh yeah that's a big one that's a good one you huh? yep Too. It's really big. Oh my gosh, giant small Every time he starts to get close, he decides to turn off. Alright, there he is. Just going crazy. Alright, he's coming this time. To the left, left, left. Trying to find your line. Sorry. Yes, thank you. Oh, and he fell yeah, off. just came off, too. That's a nice one. Thank you, sir. It's number five, too. Now it's your turn. You gotta hit 30 different spots and catch them. Another one. Tiny one. So it's a mental grind doing this, but out of nowhere, you'll get a bite if it's a three pounder or a four pounder. Like that one. That's a good one. That one will help. Well, I just need to start talking more and speak everything into existence. All you gotta existence. do is ask for them. I never, I never tried that before. Just asking. Oh, man. Not a long one, but he's. Chunky. Well, catching them on something different every time seems to be my thing, so we'll see what happens here. Might be big. Yep, big. With you. Yeah, I feel pretty good, don't I? I'm happy to have that fish, but I have no clue what my smallest fish is after this call. 
The other two that aren't three pounds probably aren't super far behind. Two and a half pounders. Now that one. I think you're definitely fishing tomorrow. This one sucks because I don't think it's going to help me. Colin played on five bass fishing as a boater. He's got 13 pounds and five ounces, 13, five. Thank you, sir. All right, guys, that's gonna be a wrap for the BFL Super Tournament. And unfortunately, this is probably gonna be my last tournament of the season. But before I dive into anything about this tournament, um, I just wanna say it's been an amazing season and I've met so many awesome people this year. I've had a ton of people come up and, and uh, say hi to me and compliment me on the videos that I've put out. And man, that means a lot to me. That's like the positive feedback that I've had out of this is probably half the reason that I keep doing it. So um, keep that stuff coming. I absolutely love it. I love fishing. I love tournament fishing. I love being around people that share the same passion as me. And that's what it's all about. So. Um, I really enjoy that aspect of it and I want that to continue. And uh, like I said, I, I love fishing. I love making these memories and having it all on video. Some of the videos that I've put out this year are so special. The frog tournament was absolutely insane. And I, I could go on and on. I think the smallest limit of bass I caught this year was 13 pounds or more than 13 pounds. Um, you know, I had 16 pound bags I had almost an 18 pound bag in the frog tournament. Just amazing weights. In practice, there was days where I had 20 pounds, like on several occasions. And I think three different days on the river this year, I hit 20 pounds and that's just insane. The fishing has been incredible. Um, catching them how I like to catch them. I've learned how to you know, use live scope or mega live I have. Um, but also I've just been able to throw the frog and, and catch giant bass on the frog. That's how pretty much all my big fish have been caught this year is, is frogging. Um, so yeah, it's been incredible. It's been awesome. Um, but anyway, going back to the tournament, um, I ended up in 33rd place and missed out on the day two cut. You know, I knew I was going to have to have a really big bag the way that these guys are catching them right now. I feel like I can't even hardly keep up with them and, and uh, the river's fishing so well still. but. I had a really good first day of practice. I had about 20 pounds. I had a five and a half pounder on a frog, um, caught another one that was about four and three quarters, and then a bunch of really solid ones after that. And I shook a ton of fish off, um, had some blow ups that I didn't set the hook on. And I thought for sure I'd be able to go and catch a couple four pounders during the tournament and then have those two and a half to threes to go with them. Well, unfortunately, I only weighed the two and a half and, and three pounders and, and uh, weighed in 13.5. So I, I missed out on the day two cut by 15 spots. Uh, like I said, I was a couple big fish away or even one really big fish away from, from making it to the second day. Um, unfortunately, just couldn't get there. But, you know, when I look at it, I feel like I'm probably about right where I'm supposed to be um, with the amount of time I've been doing this. The experience I have, this is, other than fishing the BFLs last season, um, this is the only one that I've done this year. So I haven't fished a lot of these BFLs. Um, I made myself stay on pool eight and stick to pool eight and just kind of burn everything I had on pool eight to the ground in this thing. So um, I'm feeling pretty good about how everything went. And, um, you know, I would say I ended my season on a, on a pretty good note. Um, didn't bomb the tournament by any means. Had a great day with my co-angler. 
and I'll tell you what, if you're looking into um, fishing tournaments as a boater, the BFLs are a great option. You know, look into your local state tournaments, that kind of stuff. If you're wanting to just sign up as a boater and fish into it individually, um, it's a great way to do it. it. It really, I think, brings out the best in you in some ways, and it allows you to kind of um, assess yourself as a fisherman and, and kind of see what you need to work on. It'll show you your weaknesses and your strengths, and you know, don't hide from that stuff. Be be realistic with yourself and and tell yourself what you need to work on and what you're good at and run with it. And you know, if you're a co-angler, if you're just getting into fishing, those same tournaments are available to you to sign up as a co-angler. Um, you know, with these BFLs, you're gonna wanna try to find the link for them. But um, if you can sign up as a co-angler and ride around in my boat or someone else's boat that knows what they're doing and learn from them and get experience fishing um, the Mississippi or wherever you're at and you know, get that tournament experience, get some knowledge. Don't be out there poaching people's holes, but um, you know, just focus on like why we're fishing here, why are these fish here, that kind of stuff. Um, be a good, courteous co-angler, and man, this stuff could be fun. So, but yeah, guys, look into that if it if it seems interesting to you. And other than that, I appreciate everyone that's watching the videos. Absolutely love it. Um, all the all the people that have came up and said hi to me this year it's pretty incredible i have a ton of people that that watch this stuff that doesn't seem like that big a deal when i'm sitting here all alone doing it but um, i appreciate the heck out of it and we'll hopefully have another fishing video or two that'll drop on the channel here before the end of the year i'm going to be taking my sister and one of her friends for the high school state tournament next weekend and we'll go from there but Thank you guys for watching so much. I appreciate every one of you, and we'll see you next time here on Grind Season Outdoors.